Chris, where have you been sparring? Uh, Las Vegas, and here with a boxing club. Wow, how was it? It was amazing. <laughs> Best trip of my life, by far. And Andreas, you didn't go with him. Where have you been sparring? I've been to Japan, Tokyo. I was there for the last month. I only got back a couple of days ago, but that was amazing as well. And who were you sparring? I was sparring, I can't remember their names because they're really <laughs> long and they don't speak English, but um, I sparred the number one heavyweight, number one super middleweight, and number four light heavyweight. So it was good, uh, and a couple others, but they weren't as high ranked, but they were the highest ranked I sparred. What was it like and how different was the training from over here? Um, it was like the film Kickboxer. You go there and there's just, hun not hundreds, but about 50, 60 people training in a little crammed gym. The gym was really nice though, but it was really, really hot as well and it was like training in a plastic bag. After two rounds of anything, you just can't breathe. But it was a good experience. Yeah, that must have been really good as well for your fitness too. Now, Chris, come and then throw some names out. Who have you been sparring? Uh, well, no, we're in the gym. There's just so many like top professionals there. Um, I had uh, Ishe Smith came down, was there every day. Jay Leon Love, Shimaje, uh, I think Shimaje Thomas, who's a two-time national amateur champion of America. So these the, the guys I was sparring there were just top, top of the game. So everyone had uh, big credentials. How much is this helping you, the fact that you're going into your first title fight? Yeah, um, do you know what? Confidence is the main and biggest thing in any, any sport, really, especially boxing. And to, to go to the Mayweather gym, and if I was going to relate it to a film, it would be like Rocky Three when he goes to um, Apollo's gym and everyone just stops and stares at Rocky. And that's exactly what it was like for me. When I got there, everyone was like, who's the new kid? I want to spar him, I want to spar him. And then by the end of the two weeks, there was like my family there but it, it just creates so much confidence in, in, a, in a young fighter like myself. So are you confident? Very. And what about the fact that it's your first 10 rounder as well and no films in this one, please? <laughs> <laughs> so it's first 10 round, do you know what? It, it's better for me because I'm, I'm a counter puncher, you know, I like to show off my, my boxing skills. So for it to be 10 rounds means I've got more air time, more time to show my skills off. And I always train fit. I, try, I always train for 12 rounds. It doesn't matter how many rounds there is. It doesn't matter to me. And what do you feel about the fact that you've not stepped in the ring for a while? Um, do you know what? I mean, yeah, that is, that is a, a factor that always plays in you. It's always a doubt that, that comes into your head. But at the end of the day, the sparring I had in, in Las Vegas where it's 40 degrees Celsius in the gym with a head guard on and the guys you're fighting there just want to rip your, your head off. It's called the doghouse for a reason. So every spar I had, which I sparred every single day I was in Vegas, every single spar there was like a fight. So I'm not rusty at all. I'll go today. Well... Now, I know you're close with each other, so how are you going to be supporting him? He says he's ready. Uh, well, before every fight, we stick close to each other. We build each other's confidence up. I'm walking him out with our eldest brother as well, who's uh, going to come out with us this time. And um, I just get on his back, really, make sure he's focused for the fight, ready, disciplined, and yeah. we live with each other. So I annoy him a bit, <laughs> but it's with love. <laughs> yeah. Chris, how much does that help? It's, it's a great help. It's just when it's, uh, when it's 10.30 and I joke my brother saying, you're not going out tonight, you're not going anywhere tonight, you've got to go to bed, or you can't have a bagel, or you can't do this, and he's eating a bagel. And, you know, it, it, it's, I'm not fighting. <laughs> he's not fighting. <laughs> but, um, no, it is a great help, and especially to have someone like my brother to be fighting with me, you know, and, and, and training every day. So he knows the game. He knows how what everything needs to be in place, and he reinforces that. You definitely sound ready, so best of luck. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charlie. Thanks, Andres, Thank too. Thank you.